Hi guys, uh, welcome to the second scrub out of a box. So, um, the previous scrub out of a box was actually quite stressful for me, and I um, realized that I packed too much things into a single box, and then uh, had to do like a lot, of, and then I had a lot of projects I wanted to do with it. So this time around, I think just to reduce my stress level, um, I'm cutting down like the things I'm using to about like um, about two thirds, or even like half of the quantity that I, that, I, that I first started out with, and um, yeah. And so this time around, I, I am like I built the kit with the intention of just making a one junk journal and one uh, mini album, and uh, that is it. Um, and so that I can do more focus on like uh, specific components, or uh, rather than like you know, spreading out like my creative juices over like main projects. And also, I got a little bit tired of like <laughs> playing with just one singular collection. It's really quite painful. Um, but yeah, so one of the things that uh, I did at the same time was actually uh, decluttering my um, my room. And uh, if you roll back to like a video like a couple of years ago to three years ago, um, my room, which is also my bedroom, which is also my gym room and my craft room, and my office and my whatever room, <laughs> um, is basically like the room they're working with. So um, there's just very little space and don't have a lot of space or a lot of uh, materials. So. Um, I've been uh, so I've been like looking at around just to see what the uh, ways to like read the clutter, and I've stumbled upon the Kumari me method. So I'm currently not reading her book, but I did most of the techniques of like um, clearing the stuff out. And uh, there were some things I like about books, something I didn't. So maybe I'll do like kind of like a review on like what worked, what didn't, and and perhaps then you can you not know, not take everything you read with a pinch of salt. Um, but so I guess. Uh, a subsequent thing that I'll be doing on this channel as well will be also looking at um, doing like book reviews of uh, different stuff, different books. So yeah, so gonna go like right into the sharing of the kit and what it has inside. So let's go to the stamps first. This is the um, Prima uh, uh, stamp, and the theme that I'm working on is actually using a little bit of the Bo Bunny's uh, Genevieve collection. I think that was like uh, probably last year or early this year. Um, so um, uh, there's a lot of themes of like uh, blues and yellows and a little bit of greens and olives and, and teals. Um, and uh, this uh, was kind of like fitting in with the theme in terms of like the birds of the, and, the, and the flowers and whatnot. Um, so here is a rubber necker uh, stamp. From uh, this uh, poppy bunch, poppy bunch, blah. <laughs> the stamps, and also uh, I think this is probably from Penny Black, if not not mistaken. Okay, let's go right to the papers. So, um, what the thing about the Genevieve collection was that uh, a lot of papers were uh, not grounded enough. I felt that the, the elements were like kind of like floating in the air. So I wanted to have like uh, particular aspects that would really ground the elements. Uh, so I took a lot of like this craft pattern paper from UW Scrapbooking, uh, which is like a um, um, scrapbooking company for uh, Popular, which is a local um, bookstore. And this is a Genevieve paper collection, uh, the 6x6 paper pad. I may or may not dig into getting my 12x12 and similar to this, but uh, we'll see. Because I kind of feel like the kit is really big enough. So, and this was one of the um, letterpress that I made. I'm not sure I've ever shown you like, up close how cool the letterpress looks. So this particular letterpress I layered over on top is actually a true vintage uh, leather press. This is like a, it's called Blue Lotion. And Mitsubishi is probably like the uh, manufacturer for uh, this product in the past. And basically, it's touch to prepare for wounds or blisters. La -de 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 -de. And this is like in a Singapore like medical hall, which is kind of cool. Um, what else? Um, and I used to have like those uh, smash books, um, which I took apart because. Um, I didn't really like most of the pages, <laughs> um, so. Um, but I like I like how some of these are like have this relatively plain uh, writing lines. So I thought those would be kind of fun for like the uh, junk journal. Um, okay, what else? Um, I think this is watercolor paper, probably. Um, and this too, I actually um, I got this from a 
I'm not sure whether the camera's gonna pick that up, but you see that nice wood grain? I got there and this uh, wood grain white. Uh, I got this from like a um, local um, paper um, retail store called uh, Fancy Papers. Uh, some cardstock to kind of work with the collection. And some for the envelopes. Some random like white paper which I had lying around. Um, and so one of the things that, that, that I'm doing for this kit is actually to also to use up the scraps that, um, that I have arranged out uh, in my little um, D-stash. Uh, declutter um, effect, uh, effort. So, one of the things that I did for some of the things that I declutter was I took like uh, usable pieces of of the uh, of um, scrap papers and I made them into like mini kits. And so these mini kits uh, will help me like start off like uh, my next few uh, scrap out of a shoebox thing. Let's see. So there's some. Uh, paper die cards. So you can see how it's like kind of moving with a the color theme really, which is kind of relatively obvious. Yellows with the teals and the blues. Um, and some like paper colors that, that, fit, that fit in with the collection in terms of the color. Um, as well as like things like brads and stuff and and bottle caps and split pins and whatnot that fit in with the collection in terms of the color. And yeah, so all of these, which uh, really works with the collection, as you can tell. Even two paper bags in like the colors. And this is actually a. Um, I used to do like a couple of marble prints when I first uh, started out, like trying to do my own pattern paper. Um, this was one of the less successful ones, uh, but. Uh, what I did though was that um, you know it, uh, even if there's imperfection, it's kind of like I like the artsy look. So yeah, we'll see how that works out with the with the paper that I'm working with. Um, and I kind of already did my base. Um, so this are uh, like um, this already pockets uh, ready to have like the uh, me album, and I kind of want it to be like this way so it flips um, on the side rather than like my usual one that goes like um, portrait so this is like a landscape sort of um, way of doing things let me see what else oh I'm gonna grab this out and I try not to make this one for 10 minutes but um, some uh, wooden and die cuts chipboard stickers um, okay Oops, this came out. Okay, so my rings, so my ring bindings, um, I just didn't really want to do <laughs> like the whole structure of the binding, so I'm going to do like ring binding instead. Um, some left of a lace. And this nice ribbon from Typo. Nice, like a China blue sort of blue. And this is like a uh, sketch blue. Like a blue print sort of blue. So this is nice. I said in crystals, I'm just gonna use like the blues and the greens. I'm gonna ignore like the orangey ones, which are not really working with the theme, but that's fine. Um, some more watercolor paper and the bow bunny buttons from uh, Genevieve and the bow bunny brads from uh, I think they start somewhere in time also, uh, which is like a 2014 collection. Yeah. Okay, what else? So the stencils, um, and then therefore you will see some mediums later. Um, this is a designer stencil set from UW Scrapbooking, uh, which I mentioned earlier, which is a um, kind of like a scrapbooking uh, brand for um, popular. It's a local bookstore. And this is the Topicals uh, paint from uh, Prima. It's like the brighter tones which I kind of like. Um, and I also had some of the ephemeras here. So like buttons, not ephemeras, like embellishments. <laughs> um, keys, buttons, uh, some level of ribbons. Um, I also put my tiny little uh, die cards here. So I'm going to use like the small little tag as well as the tab and the ticket die. Uh, these are Buddha's Monroe inks. Um, I'm kind of like falling in love with, with, with this set of inks. Um, they're kind of versatile and quite fun. So I'm gonna like see whether the cam's gonna pick that up. But yeah, this is uh, Cornflower and Phone Book. Phone Book gives you like that um, off 
like off creamy off yellow color okay let's talk about the mediums and these are the last things so uh, cross that minutes here we go um, color theory I have not used this uh, ever since I got them so I thought that I should just use them uh, and I, I really like them actually when I tried tested them out so this is Deja Blue and this is Emerald City um, they are like, actually dye in pads um, but just, they are just really juicy so you can do like um, um, like um, generation stamping uh, with yeast which I can't necessarily get with like the other ink pads uh, this is Lemon Twist as an Emerald Isle as well as Archiver ink uh, which is important because sometimes you just want an ink that dries and doesn't react to water. It gives like very crisp Im images. Uh, two more stencils that I kind of missed out. Uh, some balls are designed with like some uh, scribbly text, and uh, Rebecca Myers design uh, from TC TCW as well. Uh, mixed media um, kind of like look. And so. Um, I kind of put like all my stick medias into here. So we have um, the Faber Castell Art Grips. So this is in 104143187151107 and 152. So basically, you have like your blues and your, your yellowy greens ones. With the brushes. Okay, these are the dye base. Uh, um, watercolor mediums so this is bright yellow um, yellow deep blue turquoise green and uh, per Persian blue from Kuritake's uh, real watercolor brush pen from Zig so it's a clean color real brush pen so um, if you don't really know this are actually real brushes they're not uh, they're synthetic material yes but um, they the, the, the brush bristles actually split they're not like um, some of like your brush tips which are technically felt uh, and new favorite product plus uh, other competitors because I don't have that large of a <laughs> um, um, brand loyalty so um, this is the distress uh, crayons. I'm choosing mustard seed, um, chip sapphire, as well as vintage photo. Um, along with that, um, this three colors. I'm going to talk about this three. I got them through um, at a, a local um, a bookstore, and it was like some China brand, um, which 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 is fine to me because I've uh, I decided it was really cheap. It's like um, eighteen dollars for like I think twenty colors, I think, and. Um, which is like less than a dollar each, right? And I took uh, them to, uh, out for testing and playing and they work almost exactly like a Distress Crayon as if it's like a different color palette. Um, and... I saw the Faber Castell Gelados which have the metallic colors. So there's a metallic blueberry and ice chai. Uh, yep, metallic blueberry, ice chai. Yep. So that is the kit. So I'm gonna have some fun now, <laughs> um, and hopefully along the way I'll be doing some recordings also of like some mini process. I won't be showing you everything because uh, that's totally not possible, and it would be really stressful to want me to like kind of like work with a camera on. <laughs> um, but I hope it will be fun. Um, hopefully I'll do like some like process videos or some uh, of, like some covers and so as well, um, and I haven't quite thought about like. The medium for which my junk, like medium or rather the cover for which my junk journal is gonna have, um, I'm quite tempted to go take out my, um, you know, the new um, canvas boards from Dyna Weekly that uh, have the two clean edges, which is really good for making like a junk journal book cover. So I'm thinking of using that, but I'm kind of still sitting on a fence on it. <laughs> um, but you know what, I, sh I think I should just take the dive and do it anyway. Um, and use that as the cover for my uh, junk journal. Hmm. So uh, you can add that in into the kit. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys um, next time. Bye.